I have a Claude Pro account, so I was playing around with um, some ideas uh, with Claude. I'm not a programmer, so I, you know, I've been reading about how you can get the AI to help program things. So I said, well, you know, I was playing around with image generation, and then there's a lot of complexity to the prompting, right? Um, the ideal thing would be I could say what I want and I get it immediately. You know, obviously it doesn't work that way with AI imagery right now. You basically will uh, say what you want. You kind of get an approximation and then you start iterating from that. But I thought, what if I was building a course and I want a certain type of image and I want to get really detailed and see what I can get. So I actually had Claude work with Claude and, you know, here's my account here. And then you can see I went through this this process of uh, describing uh, what I wanted in my program. And so it created this here, and we'll see how this works as an image generator. Now, when you think about image generation in general, right, uh, let's say I'm doing a high school safety uh, training program, and I need a, a picture of a, a high school student, right? Um, if I just say I need a picture of a high school student, I could start searching or, or building that. But when you think about it, it's like I've got a character, right? So let's say I've got the student, I've got the character. Well, the character is going to look a certain way, right? Male, female, blonde hair, brown hair, black hair, straight hair, curly hair, red hair, uh, black, white, Asian. You know, there's, so there's all sorts of things that go into just that character. The age, you know, even if it's a high school student, it could be a high school student, you know, at 15, 16, a high school student at 18, 19 maybe, I don't know. Um, and then what's that high school student wearing, right? Is the high school in an urban area? Is the high school student in a rural area? You know, or, um, what type of music they listen to? Or they, you know, all sorts of things that go into the identity of, of that, just that character. And then you start thinking about, well, that's the character. So you have all the the details of the character, right? So that's one of the things I had set up. Then you think about what makes the image, right? The camera angles can make the image, uh, long distance, focal, you know, your focal range, um, that all sorts of stuff, right? And the lighting and all those things. So, so I walked through a bunch of things and made some notes of like what people are putting into their prompts and what recommendations were for prompts. So I thought, well, I'm going to see if I can get a prompt generator and then let's see what it can do uh, if I want an image. So I want an image of a high school student for uh, a safety program, right? So I'd say my course objective is um, high school uh, safety. All right. Okay, so and target audience will say uh, high, high school students. All right. And now what do I know about the subject details? We'll just say student. Uh, my typing's not very good. Uh, we'll say, we'll just say this is a, uh, just to get it, a, a, or we'll say angry just to, Get a stronger emotion. And what are the high school students? We can say arguing with another student. Close style, uh, we'll say casual. And that's just where you can put more detail in there if you want to, right? I could have like an other, and then you could add stuff manually. Uh, we'll say this is a Pacific Islander, just to be a little bit more different. And we'll say this is a 13 to 19 age group. I go to the next one. I've got my camera settings. And we'll say this is in a school hallway. Right? What's the camera angle? So you've got all these different angles. Um, we'll just do a low angle or Dutch angle. Because Dutch angle kind of means it's a maybe a little off, right? And then we'll say the camera distance. We'll, we'll do a, um, a long shot or close up. And camera view, uh, we'll do a, a three-quarter view. And then style, so you've got all these different types of styles here. Um, let's just, since it's an e-learning course, let's make it a little bit, uh, we'll do like a uh, pop arty type style composition. We'll follow rule of thirds, lighting, you know, you can... Uh, choose whatever you want to do. You know, this is, I just put some stuff in there, but this could be modern day, right? You can, you can, again, 
if you had this as a real product, you could do that. And then um, we'll just say it's uh, energetic here. And then we're going to generate the prompt. And so now this is the prompt it gave me. I'm going to come into Storyline and let's see uh, what I get. So I'm going to go into the image here for the AI. I'm going to just do that. Choose No Style. I'm going to do that and generate image. And then let's see what image gets. Now obviously I can write all this stuff out, but I think the, the idea of the prompt generator for me was that I was able to uh, generate a prompt with a lot more detail than I might normally do. And I think, you know, for the most part, these images actually turned out uh, pretty good. So they kind of fit uh, the detail of what I wanted. This is probably not great image right there. Um, but, you know, these images work, right? So I kind of got the detail, got the high, high school, uh, uh, the kind of ethnicity and stuff, right? And then, it, and then again, if I didn't want this image, here, let's... Um, Let's, uh, um, what do I want to do here? Let's go ahead and cancel this image. Let's say I want to um, change the prompt up so I kind of got an image I like, but I can come in here now and I can say, well, you know, I kind of got the look that I wanted, right? But so now instead of Pacific Islander, you know, I could change this here. We'll just say to um, rural um, farm student. I don't know. We'll see what we get here. And then um, let's go ahead and generate that image. So once you get that core prompt and you kind of get what you're looking for, you can go in there and modify the image. It's kind of funny that I'm still getting these the headless person, but that's just part of the way AI works. But you can see, uh, I think this works pretty well. So a couple of things in there. One is the AI image generator. Uh, works really well, right? And then once you have a good prompt, you can always customize that. So I like to save the prompt so I can use them later. But then the other side of that is that um, you have uh, this image prompt generator thing. I'll go ahead and share this and people can try that out and see how that works for them.